We're going to look now at the scale factor for area and the scale factor for length. So we're going to look just across at this ship here, and I'm going to draw a one centimeter cubed. So that's one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. And then I'm going to draw, I'm going to double the size of it lengthwise. So it becomes two centimeters by two centimeters and two centimeters back. So if we have this for length, and I'm going to talk about the scale factor being K. K is equal to two. And that's because you go from one to two. So you by multiplying by two. For area, K is equal to, so the area of this face would be one times one, which is one. The area of this face would be two times two, which would be four, and they're both centimeters squared. Let's squeeze that in, centimeters squared. Uh, so my area for, uh, uh, sorry, my scale factor for area, I go from one centimeter to four centimeters by multiplying by two squared, which gives you the four. So my area for, a uh, scale factor for area is two squared. And my, for volume, the volume of the first one is going to be one centimeter cubed. That was one times one times one. And the volume for the second one is going to be eight centimeters cubed. That's two times two times two. So my, for, air, for uh, volume, it's going to be my scale factor is equal to uh, two cubed because one goes to eight by multiplying by two cubed, which was eight. So really we could change this and we could say for length, your scale factor is equal to K. For area, your scale factor is K squared. Your volume, your scale factor is K cubed. And that's really it. So to get from the small cube to the big cube lengthwise, you multiply by K, which is two. To get from the small cube to the big cube area-wise, you multiply by K squared, which is two squared, which happens to be equal to four. And to get from for volume, to get from uh, the volume of the small cube to the volume of the big cube, you multiply by k cubed, which is 2 cubed, which happens, uh, happens to be 8. And that's it. So it says here, uh, the area scale factor is calculated by squaring the scale factor. The volume scale factor is calculated by cubing the scale factor. So in this question it says, calculate the area and volume scale factors uh, when we multiply an object by this linear scale factor of uh, three, first of all, is our first one. So uh, your k is equal to three. So I'm just going to write that down. k equals three. Then k squared is equal to three squared, which is going to be nine. And k cubed is equal to three cubed, which is 27. In this one, k is equal to 10. In this one, sorry, k is equal to 10, which means k squared is equal to 10 squared, which is 100. And k cubed is equal to 10 cubed, which is 1,000. Over here, uh, we have got k is equal to 0.5. I'm just going to write that as a half because it makes it a wee bit easier to work with. k squared then <coughs> is a half times a half or a half squared. So square the top line, you get 1. Square the bottom line, you get 4. And k cubed is just equal to a half cubed. Square the top line, you get 1. Square the bottom line, you get 8. So if it's uh, scale factor for length is a half. The scale factor for area is uh, scale factor for area is a quarter, and the scale factor for volume is one eighth. Okay, a nice sweet trick here. It says if the uh, ratio of lengths of two objects, is, uh, the ratio of lengths of two objects, similar objects, is one to five. Find the volume scale factor. Now, if things are in this ratio, then your for length they are in the ratio one to five for area you would just square those square those both it would be one to 25 and for volume what we're looking for it's going to be one cubed which is one and a five cubed which is 125 so the scale factor the uh, find the volume scale factor the ratio then is one to 125 so that means uh, one goes to uh, 125 so your volume scale factor it's going to be equal to uh, 125 divided by 1, which is just 125. In this example, it says these shapes are similar. Find the area of A. So. 
First of all, I can see that um, my uh, three is a length and it goes on the small shape and it goes to a length of 15 on the big. So I'm gonna work out what my scale factor is first. So for length, three goes to 15 and that you multiply by K, which is equal to five because three times five gives you 15. So for area, uh, K squared is equal to five squared. So K squared is equal to 25. So to get from the small area to the big area, I'm gonna go from 10 to the big area of A, and I'm gonna go there by multiplying by K squared, which is 25. So A is equal to 10 times 25, which is, and just be careful with your units, 250 centimeters squared. In this example, it says the triangle on the left is enlarged to make the triangle on the right, find the value of X. Uh, so they are similar triangles. And let's just highlight again, this uh, 20, area of 20 centimeters squared becomes an area of 80 centimeters squared. And then also this um, four on the small triangle becomes X on the big triangle. So we're gonna find my scale, uh, scale factor but this is my scale factor for area. So for area, 20 goes to 80. And because it's area, that's by multiplying by K squared. So K squared equals four. So K squared is equal to four, which means then, which means K is equal to just two. So if K is equal to two, that means for length, four goes to X by multiplying by two. So X is equal to four times two, which is eight, and the units is length, remember, so it's gonna be eight centimeters. The last example here, it says, uh, two solids, Q and R, are similar. Uh, right, I'm just gonna do a wee uh, diagram of this. So uh, I've got my Q. Don't know what shape it is, don't really care, but uh, just to remind me, keep me right, uh, which one is bigger. They're similar shapes, and then there's my R. So R is a bigger one because you're told Q, Q had a volume, uh, Q had a volume of uh, 512, where R has a volume of 1,728. Okay, it says find the scale factor of enlargement from Q to R. Now, when you're talking about the scale factor of enlargement, you're really talking for this, about the scale factor of length so we're gonna look first of all at volume. Uh, and for volume, we ha you start at 512 and you end up at 1728. So you get there by multiplying by K cubed. So we'll just do that and see, we better work out 512 K cubed equals 1728. That means K cubed is 1728 divided by 512. And if you just put that into your calculator, 1728 divided by 512, press equals, it gives you a lovely thing. It gives you uh, K cubed is equal to 27 over eight. Now, if I got that in the exam, I'd be very confident I've got that right. And the reason for that is you can cube root both of those numbers. So 27 is a cube number, cube root 27, you get eight. Eight is a cube number, uh, cube root eight, you get two. So your K for uh, length is three over two. Now, of course, I could write that as one and a half, uh, but it's probably gonna be easier in the rest of the question uh, to leave it as three over two, because it's easy to square and it's easy to cube, uh, cube, root, cube as well. Okay, so that's the first bit done. We found our scale factor of enlargement. We're on to part B. Part B says the length of Q if R has a length of uh, 0.6. So I'm gonna say, let length of Q be X. So that means X goes to the 0.6, which is on the bigger thing, by multiplying by three over two. So that means X times three over two equals 0.6, which means X is equal to 0.6 divided by three over two, which is one and a half. And if you do that on your calculator, even just 0.6 divided by 1.5, you will get X is equal to uh, 0.4. If this came up in a non-calculator exam, folks, you could still do this. 
uh, you could uh, write your 0.6 as like three, uh, three fifths divided by three over two, and then just do your fraction methods uh, to do that. Uh, but that's what we have. We've got x, x is equal to 0.4. Part C it says find the ratio of the areas in the form R to Q. Now this is why I put this diagram in earlier on because they sort of switch around in this, this thing. So Q remember is a small one, R is a big one. So let's just look at the ratio of the volumes which we had earlier on. So the volumes uh, worked out to be, or the scale factor, sorry, for, the vol for uh, volume was 27 on the big. Uh, so 27 on the big and 8 on the small, that was your, for volumes. So for lengths then, the ratio is gonna be cube root, both of those, you're gonna get three to two. And then for areas, square both of them, and it's gonna be nine to four. Okay, and that's all it is gonna be for the areas. That's that part done. Part D asks us to find the surface area of R, if the surface area of a Q is 800, and 64. So remember again, Q is the smaller of the shapes. So to get from the area of Q, which is 864, to the area of R, you multiply by the scale factor for area. So remember our scale factor for uh, length was three over two. So the scale factor for area is gonna be nine over four. And we can see, uh, see that here as well from this ratio. So we're just gonna multiply by nine, over four. So your area of R, just write that again, is nine over four times 864. And when you do that in your calculator, you will get 1,944 centimeters squared.